In this section of the course, we're going to look at our church's policy for the less lethal weapons you are allowed to use. We'll also introduce you to some of the unarmed control techniques you can use when working with difficult subjects. Let's start with the control techniques. Unarmed control techniques allow you to gain a subject's compliance without the use of a weapon. Soft, empty hand techniques are the lowest level of unarmed control techniques and include such things as joint locks and arm bars. A joint lock is a way of controlling the subject's movement by limiting the mobility of one of his joints, giving you a mechanical advantage that allows you to control him. The most commonly used joint lock is a wrist lock, which allows you to control a subject by holding and maneuvering his hand in a particular way. In an arm bar, you use your entire body to control the subject. It's a technique that is more easily accomplished if the subject is on the ground and may require you to do a takedown first. An arm bar can allow you to hold the subject until the police arrive. It also allows you to release the pressure on the joint when the subject begins to comply without releasing the entire hold, making it effective for holding the subject until help arrives. You should not attempt any of the techniques I have described here without proper training. 